And he went out again beside the sea, and as he passed by, he saw Levi, the son of Alphaeus, sitting in a tax booth. And he said to him, follow me. And he rose and he followed him. And as they were reclining at table in his house, there were many tax collectors and sinners eating, reclining with Jesus and his disciples because there were many who followed him. And when the scribes of the Pharisees saw that he was eating with tax collectors and sinners, they said to his disciples, why is he eating with sinners and tax collectors? And when Jesus heard it, he said, those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick, I've not come to call the righteous, but sinners. And again, he went into the synagogue and a man was there with a withered hand and they watched Jesus to see whether he would heal him on the Sabbath. And Jesus said to the man with the withered hand, come here. And he said to them, is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do harm, to save life or to kill? But they were silent. And he looked at them with anger, grieved at their hardness of heart. And he said to the man, stretch out your hand. And he stretched it out and his hand was restored. And they immediately went out and they held counsel with the Herodians against him, how to destroy him. And he went up onto the mountain and he called to him those who he desired and they came to him and he appointed 12 who he also called apostles that they might be with him and he might send them out to preach and to have authority to cast out demons. And he named the 12 Simon to whom he gave the name Peter and James the son of Zebedee and John the brother of James to whom he gave the name Boangers which means sons of thunder and Andrew and Philip and Bartholomew and Matthew and Thomas and James the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus and Simon the Cananean and Judas Iscariot who betrayed him and then he went home and a very large crowd was gathered so they couldn't even eat. And when his family heard it, they came out to seize him because they were saying he's out of his mind. And the scribes of the Pharisees, when they heard it, came down from Jerusalem and they were saying he's possessed by Beelzebul and by the prince of demons, he casts out demons. And when Jesus heard it, he called them to him and he said to them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom's divided against itself, then that kingdom will no longer be able to stand. And if a house is divided against itself, then that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan is risen up and is divided against himself, then Satan will not be able to stand, but is coming to an end. But nobody can enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man. Then indeed he may plunder their good, his goods. And they said to him, your mother and your brother are standing outside seeking you, calling you, seeking you. And he looked at them, he looked at those stand about around him and he said, who are my mother and my brothers? Whoever does the will of God, he is my brother and my sister and my mother. And he began to teach beside the sea and a very large crowd gathered so that he got into a boat and sat on it on the sea and the whole crowd was beside the sea on the land and he began to teach them many things in parables. He said, listen, a sower went out to sow and as he sowed some seed fell along the path and the birds came along and devoured it, other seed fell onto rocky ground where there was not much soil and and so since so it, it so it immediately sprang up since there was not much soil and then when the sun rose it was scorched and since it had no depth of soil it withered away other seed fell among thorns and the thorns grew up and strangled it so it yielded no grain and other seed fell into good soil producing grain and growing up 
and increasing and yielding 30-fold and 60-fold and 100-fold. And he said, the kingdom of God is as if a man should scatter seed upon the ground. He sleeps and he sleeps and rises night and day. The seed sprouts and grows. He knows not how. The earth produces by itself, first the blade, then the grain, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he puts in the sickle because the harvest has come. And he said, is a lamp bought in to be put under a bed or under a basket and not on a stand? For nothing is hidden except to be made manifest, nor is anything kept secret except to come to light. And he said, those who have ears to hear, let them hear. And he said, pay attention to what you hear, for with the measure you use, it will be measured to you and still more will be given. For to those that have, more will be given. And from those who have not, even what they have will be taken away. That day, when evening had come, he said, let's go over to the other side. And they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. And there were other boats with him. And a, a great windstorm arose so that the waves were breaking into the boat and the boat was already filling. And they woke him and they said to him, teacher, don't you care that we are perishing? And he awoke and he rebuked the wind and he said to the sea, peace, be still. And there was a great calm. And he said to them, why are you still so afraid? Have you still no faith? And they looked at one another, terrified, and they said, Who then is this that wind and sea obey him?